Right, hello there guys and welcome back to another Python tutorial. Um, so in this tutorial we're going to be going over um, the Google API code that we did last time. Uh, this code here. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be compiling that into an EXE so that any Windows computer can run it. Um, I'm not sure about Linux but I know Apple definitely can't run it either. Um, so yeah, that could be a slight problem. Um, so to begin with, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a new file. Now, if I just quickly move you over to the side here, um, you can see I have a bunch of files that I've already done. Um, and this is a lot of programs that I actually have done videos on already or plan to do videos on in the future. Um, so we're going to be creating a new Python file and we're going to call it uh, setup. Now dragging us back over to here. What we want to do is we want to call this, uh, we want to import into here CX freeze. So import um, CX freeze. Um, now CX freeze, you, I can, you can import pretty easily. Um, if you go into um, your command line, you can uh, pip install CX underscore freeze and it will uh, install it for you. But because I have it, um, I don't need to do that, um, and therefore um, I have already got it. Yeah, um, if you type Python here, it'll uh, tell you whether your Python is installed correctly and you can use that. Um, and so I can do sort of my little uh, calculations and stuff and write Python code into here. But yeah, um, we'll be back into command line soon. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to import CX freeze. Um, we're going to then go executables, ex oh my god, executables, uh, cute, uh, cute uh, bulls equals. Oh no, needs to be square brackets. CX underscore freeze um, dot executable. And then we're going to call it what we want to call it, or we're going to get the file that we want to use. So I've called that um, file that we're going to be using, using Google, uh, where is it? Google API tut.py. Now we want to go ahead and put uh, quotation marks around this. Um, and then we want to go ahead and do our CX freeze setup. So CX underscore freeze uh, dot setup. And then we want to open our, bra our brackets. We want to name our file. So we want to name it, say, comment. Um, we want our options um, to equal, um, and we want to open have, have a dictionary here. Oh. That one. Now we want to have our key as build dot uh, underscore exe. Uh, we want to put quotation marks around that too. Not easy -E, exe. Um, we want to put a semicolon and we want to have another dictionary opening with our packages. So this is anything that you have installed in regards to. Um, anything that you, packages that you've had to install that aren't built into Python. So um, in regards to our Python a our Google API, we've had to install auth to client, we've had to install service credentials and G spread. Um, and so I believe that's what we're going to be adding into this. Um, uh, we may also be using in Inda, Eidner. I think that's what uses requests or something. I can't remember. Something uses that. Um, but yeah, G spread. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go uh, OAuth to client. And we're going to use IDNA. But we need to put that inside a, a thing. And we're going to go requests and those are the packages that we've installed now because we're using um, 
we are using our our Google API. Now, if you watch the video that the guy made that I tagged in the last video, um, you'll see the secret or the file.json that he uh, used. And we're going to be needing to include those files. So include um, underscore files. So this is all the files that we're going to be including in this um, in this uh, compile. And we're going to be including um, secret.json now looking back on it I believe that should close it oh whoops I didn't put a comma there okay um, now looking back on my google api video I also need to remove this files.secret slash from there just because otherwise it'll try and search in the actually no we'll leave it we'll leave it files dot file slash secret all right um so what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our file uh, setup um, and we're going to go to the next line so description now i believe this is just for metadata so it's not exactly necessary to put something here but up to you you can comment here so we're going to say um, and we're going to comment to the next line oh I also need to put this over here there we go all right next line X acutables equal X acutables sweet now that's all we need uh, for this program. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move this into a file, a folder. So what we're going to go do is we're going to go and create a new Python directory. Um, comments folder. And we're going to drag in Google API. Yep. And setup.py. Um, you'll also want to add your secret.json. Um, I will go add that now, which I have right here, um, with all the data in it. I just want to quickly close that, um, and we're going to move this out onto my desktop. So if we quickly move, copy, I'm going to move it onto my desktop. All right, so I've moved it onto my desktop now. Um, what we want to do is we want to open up command line. Now you can do this anywhere in your computer. Personally, I just moved it onto my desktop because it's really easy to get there from my um, from my thing. So we're going to search up um, comment, uh, sorry, cd, which is change directory uh, desktop. Uh, we're going to change directory again to comment folder. So now we're inside the folder with. Um, I think we can go to list or something. No list, nope, okay, I can't remember how to list all the files on there, but we're within the folder that we want to run. So now what we want to do is we want to type Python. Um, now that you've got CX freeze, we're going to go um, setup, setup.py, and then we want to type build. That's going to run through, write out a whole bunch of code like that, um, and now it's done. So what we can go ahead and do is we can bring this back into our um, oop, uh, I can't do that right now. I can delete this one then. So I just deleted the folder from here and I'm going to drag in this one to programs. Okay, for some reason I can't move this file here into there. Maybe copy and paste. Okay, there we go. So that's copied it over, I believe. No, yes, yes, no. There we go. Okay, that brought in a lot of shit. Um, okay, right. So we got here our build file um, on the side. Uh, we've got our comments folder. Let's just close everything else so that we can have, get a good view of it. So we've got our comments folder. 
that we originally had. We've got our build file and we've got our original code. So in the build file, we've got all our Python packages, all the like Python zips, the secret.json. Um, we want to move that into another file actually. So we want to build a file in here, new directory, files, because we had that slash file in there. Um, and we want to drag that into, uh, where's files at? Can I go up please? Go files. So put that in files. Okay. Now we have down here somewhere Google API tut.exe. We can open that. Um, maybe we can't actually. Okay, I will have to open that um, from my folder system. So I'll be right back. Oh, right, so we've got the Google API tut here. Um, ooh, what happened there? Unable to load file, system codec. Blah, blah, blah. I have never had that issue before. That is awfully strange. Okay. What is wrong here? Let's something to do with that. No. Okay, I'm not sure what this problem is. <laughs> um, strange. I will be right back. All right, so I've looked back at what well, looked back at what my code was, and I've realised for some reason, I'm not sure why, the copying it onto my USB stick, because this uh, function file system here all works on my USB stick, um, has actually broken the code. Now I can still run it um, from my USB stick, uh, from my sorry my desktop. Um, I can still do all my shit in here. Um, all you need to do to make it run is to create a file named, or well, doc directory named files, and put your secret.json in there. Um, because in our um, in our Google API, we have files.secret slash secret.json, and that's personally just because when I build mine in the build folder, I have a run file .bat that I run and I rename this file here to files and have my secret.json in here because when I have my dot bat opening the opening the exe it um, opens it in this directory here meaning that it can't find the secret.json and so I need to have it search the next directory for that file um, which is the reason I have files.secret.json um, and that yeah that fixed it so it seems that it's working fine it just runs on my desktop for some reason and I'm not sure why um, but yeah uh, feel free uh, to use the link in the description to download my actual program that I that I do and leave me a comment um, it'll actually save it to my uh, spreadsheet that I have online um, that you can uh, obviously leave me a comment for uh, if you want that's up to you <laughs> but yeah uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time <laughs> bye bye obviously made it to the end of the video uh, so you've obviously enjoyed it or had to watch the whole thing at least so if you could consider subscribing that would be a great help to my channel um, if you have any suggestions for future videos make sure to drop them in the comments below um, like the video to show your support uh, to me so that I can know whether you like the content that I'm making um, and yeah hope to see you in the